During our lifetimes, we each consume 15 tons of vegetables, 10 tons of fruit, 7 tons of meat, 2 tons of poultry, and 1 ton of fish. These foods provide us with the nutrients and vitamins that are necessary for us to grow, work, and enjoy life. They also provide us with beneficial microorganisms that help us digest foods, maintain regularity, and fight disease. However, some of these foods occasionally become contaminated with pathogenic bacteria, such as Salmonella, Listeria monocytogenes, and E. coli 0157H7. These disease-causing bacteria can cause sicknesses or even death if allowed to remain on foods and be consumed. Therefore, it is critical to reduce or eliminate these pathogens to ensure the safety of our foods. While there are many strategies to do just this, most cannot discriminate between good and bad bacteria. These processes can also make the foods less appetizing, less nutritious, and less beneficial. Because it is essential to keep good microorganisms in our foods, an optimal strategy would effectively destroy pathogenic bacteria without destroying the beneficial microbes. Nature has been doing this for three billion years using tiny microorganisms, bacteriophages, to maintain bacterial balance in the environment. Bacteriophages, or phages for short, are the oldest, most ubiquitous organisms on Earth with their numbers estimated to be between 10 to the 30th power and 10 to the 32nd power. Phages are present everywhere in our water, soil, mouths, skin, and digestive tracts. They also are present in all fresh, unprocessed foods where they naturally destroy bacterial pathogens and make those foods safer to eat. But sometimes the phage bacteria balance is tilted allowing pathogenic bacteria to grow. If we are able to re-establish the proper balance of the right phage at the right concentration, food safety can be restored without sacrificing the quality, taste, or nutritional value of those foods. Bacteriophages, making food safer nature's way.